marketing because it is using the student learning space LTI app to integrate to a simulation that provides data analytics. So the idea is you come to these three dots, you can actually assign a particular course or, or lesson to a group of students. So in the initial setup of the class, the, the class will have several students. So for example, in this particular class, I may have three students, for example, and then five teachers. So the idea is only students can interact with the simulations and their scores will be automatically tabulated and displayed in the data analytics while teachers will then be able to assess these analytics. So once I have this class set up, I can then go to my assignment. So you can go to your own drive. You can create your own lesson and all that. Uh, I'm not going to go to show you that, but the idea is uh, it, it can be done easily, so I will not show it. So the idea is uh, if I am a teacher, then I go to open a particular assignment. I can see that there is already uh, one particular simulation with data analytics. So because I'm a teacher, then the data analytics will be here. Once you click on the button, you can see all the analytics of the students that have been attempting the, the lesson. Let me give you a better view. So this is the, the simulation and the analytics can be found over here. So it follows the same convention in SLS but uh, with some additional added features. So the, the names are all sortable. You can sort. So this online status means that this person has been online for two sessions. The activity is currently completed. And in question one, there's a total of one mark of which then all the students got it correct because the, the analytics will show you that one that this is a maximum one mark and this student here has gotten one mark for this particular question and there is a two tip that appears that shows that the student actually did something incorrectly so this kind of analytics will help the teacher to decipher while the student may have gotten the answer correct the the little steps that they have taken to get it wrong first so the student actually chose nine when the answer is 10 so this gives an indication that the student is constantly underestimating so this is again incorrect finally the answer is correct but the, this is the two tip to show the students thinking process the initial step the student had taken so the correct answer randomly generated by the simulation is eight but the student chose six again the student has constantly chosen uh, slightly smaller underestimating this one has no two tip because the student got it right and this is the final marks that shows that the student got three out of three and, and so on so the, the this button here is to go back to the simulation this is to refresh the data this shows you the legend this is pretty similar to the current sls uh, monitoring heat map 